Hey guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So in this tutorial, we will learn about the interfacing of a simple 5 pin 12 volt relay with the Arduino Uno. The platform we are using is Proteus Head Professional. So let's get started. Now you can see that we have an option that is called as the component mode. So click on it and go to parts. Now here you need to write Arduino Uno and we have our Arduino Unos here. Now one thing is that you must have to import the library of Arduino from the outside. They are just write on Google that how you can import the library of Arduino inside the Proteus and, and, and you will get the procedure that is each and every step. So you have to import the library of the Arduino. Okay, now we will take our relay. Okay, we will take the animated one so that we can we can see the working condition of the relay now we can see that we have relay there are five pins two are connected three are the output pins two are the control pins that is which are connected with the coil or the or this inductor you can see that two of the outside pins are connected with each other so the, the one on the bottom is common and the common is attached with normally closed and also if there is one pin that is called as normally open so now we need to take our power so we will take power and we will give power to this to this coil now we need to take one npn transistor NPN transistor. Okay, so we need to NPN generic. Okay, generic. Yes, we will take any of the NPN transistor, but here we are just using the generic one. Now now we have connected the base of the transistor with the pin number 10 of Arduino. As we know that we cannot drive relay directly on the pins of the Arduino because pins are not capable of give to give such huge amount of current and also the 12 volt. So it's better to drive the relay with the help of driving transistor. So we have connected like this. Okay, now we will, now our circuit is completed. Now we will go for the code. You must know that as your transistor is connected with the pin number 10 of the Arduino. Okay, now this is our circuit. Now we will go towards our Arduino code. We will just make the relay pin, relay pin high and low and it will just on make on and off the relay. Okay, now we will go to file and new. Okay, now here we just need to write three to four lines that is called as pin mode. Sorry, there is pin mode 10, comma output. Output. So here it is written. Digital write can come high delay of one hundred thousand and also digital write can come low
Okay, now we are compiling our code. It is taking a bit of time. I think that we we didn't no no uh, our our board is okay that we have selected Arduino Juno. So you also need to check the board that either it is Juno or which board it is. So it's okay. Now it's done compiling. So we can go and we can control C. Now we need to go and we will write here. Uh, one more thing I forgot to explain the code that this line pin mode 10 comma output is actually declaring the pin number 10 of Arduino as output that we can make it high that is give a logic 1 or make it 0 that is give a logic 0 or give ground and digital write 10 comma high is that we are making or we are throwing logic 1 on pin number 10 then delay of 1 second or 1000 millisecond then 10 comma low that is sending 0 to the pin number 10 and delay of 10 delay of 1 second okay now we need to run it okay we can see that okay our our pin number 10 is not is not working properly why it is so okay now we will see how we can see yeah so so why it is so because we need one current limiting resistor it's good to add one resistor of 100 ohms or 200 ohms so 100 ohms uh, ohms so 0.6 watt middle film Okay now. Okay, wait. It's not working properly. Why it is so? We need to. Okay, go and we will just make it five volt. Okay, sorry, it's uh, twelve volt, so we can make it five volt. Okay. Or, or there is one more thing. I think that uh, I know about this. That you need to attach it with 12 volt supply not the generic power because it is not going to work properly okay now you can see that it is working properly our relay is switching between two points so you can connect any sort of load or any sort of device with this relay so hopefully you got the concept regarding the l uh, regarding the relay connection with the Arduino Juno. So thanks for visiting our channel.